Well, g'day, Glav here and welcome back. Hey, if you like these videos, please hit that subscribe button. On this ride, it's a three-dayer, two nights, just doing shy of 1,600 kilometres. Day one sees us head west out to Nindy Gully Pub, which is the famous Australia's world largest hamburger, which we wanted to have a look at. And then we overnighted in St George. So on day one, it rained the whole way on us, and we did about 540-odd kilometres. Day two, we then start heading north and we head up through Roma, Tarum, Theodore and we overnight in Mundubra. 643 kilometres all up, pissed down rain on us the whole way. It was a pretty hard going actually. Day three, we head home. We're just going to ride down through the Bunya Mountains, which is a really beautiful area, but given the constant rain and it was cold and we were wet, we decided to be a bit smarter. So we headed down through Kingaroy, Yarraman, Esk, and then home. About 400 odd kilometres all up. Rained again most of the way, except for the last hour. Riding into Brisbane, I've got to tell you, was seriously eerie. Here we are in the middle of the day and I am about the only vehicle on the road. It is like an atomic war had hit. Um, it was very, very strange feeling. Given that the lockdown requires all Brisbaneites to be confined to their home. All up, this ride was 1587 kilometres. The riders were myself, Precious and Filthy Phil. Yes, that's right, we finally got Filthy Phil out on a road trip. To be frank, I'm not sure this was the one to take him on because it was cold and wet and that diner of his pounded the shit out of him. So he lost his virginity on it, but not in a pleasant way. Hopefully he'll come again. Happy days and let's get on with it. So good morning, Glav here. Day one of our road trip, three day road trip, two nights. Got myself on the Indian. We've got Precious on the Valkyrie and Phil over the back there, Filthy Phil, his first uh, road trip. So we finally got him out on one. Unfortunately, the weather's a bit shitty, but hey, that's riding. Happy days. Not sure what's going on up here. Accident. It's coppers. Who the hell knows with coppers? It could be a roadblock for anything with these pricks. This is Queensland and any state, like Copper 2, they're pricks. Oh, it's a broken down Western Star truck. Surprise, surprise, surprise. This is the first bit of interesting road since we've left Brisbane. Yes, we've done about a hundred clicks. This is Cunningham's Gap. This is taking us up over the Great Dividing Range. Nice piece of road, unfortunately it's wet. Looks like we've gone from no rain to heading into rain and normally it's the opposite way where it's raining on the coast and not in the west, but it's the opposite, unfortunately. Country still recovering from the bushfires that just devastated this area. We're actually up over the top now going down the other side. So it's pissing down. We're in Warwick. The boys are putting their dresses on. Oh, sorry, I meant their wets on. As am I. Happy days. <laughs> so we're in between Warwick and Inglewood. We'll fuel up in Inglewood. That's about another 90 kilometers. Got the wets on, it's raining on and off, roads are wet. But hey, that's biking. Rolling into the township of Inglewood. Find a gas station here and pull up for fuel.
So I just had a bite to eat, fueled up at Inglewood. Um, on we go. Still raining, unfortunately, and uh, we're a bit wet. But never mind. Happy days. It's 20 kilometres outside of Gundawindi. Won't be stopping here. Gundawindi is right down on the New South Wales Queensland border, which of course is blocked again. So still pissing down, rolling into the small town of Tobra or Tobaya, wouldn't have a clue how to pronounce it. Reckon we might stop here for a coffee or something, or a stretch anyway. So we're in two beer, we've stopped for a coffee, we're soaking wet while I am, and it's cold and it's pissing down still. Anyway, for a ride this day. Yeah, great. 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 There's filthy yeah, Phil. The time of your life. Look at this shit. <laughs> <laughs> so Phil's having the time of his life. Virgin on his first. We've just broke his virginity on his first long ride, and look what happens. He jinxes us, a prick. <laughs> Fucking jinx, you prick. Coming into Nindy Gully, which is where the home of Queensland's biggest hamburger is. is at the pub here in the gully pub unfortunately I don't think they've got them on at the moment because the bakery that does the buns for them aren't operating at the moment has a meat patty 1.2 kilos from my American friends that's just under three pounds So this is the Nindy Gully pub where we came for the world's largest hamburger that they're out of buns so they won't make them at the moment. I got abducted on the way here. Yeah, Phil got abducted by aliens on the way so here. taken out by aliens, did 15 rounds with Mike Tyson and then they smashed me into the road and put me back on my bike and just arrived. Yeah. <laughs> Your first and last ride. Nindi Gully is said to be a combination of an Aboriginal word Nindi, which means small, and the English word gully. The town presumably takes its name from the Nindi Gully pastoral run operated by a bloke called Baldwin, which existed from at least 1862. The Nindi Gully pub was built in 1864 and is believed to be one of Queensland's longest continually licensed premises. It was Cobb & Co's charging station between the 19th century and the early 20th century. The pub claims to be the oldest pub in Queensland. It's Friday morning, day two. This is our humble type rooms at the Australian Hotel at St George, 130 bucks a night uh, for my Thai mates. Uh, that's not cheap. It's probably um, I don't know, 2,300 baht a night. Uh, Three-star hotel, quite livable. Here's what's interesting for me this morning. Still raining outside, but. Um, have a look at this in my front tyre. It's just whether I fix it myself, I have a tyre repair kit, or there's 
right next door but doesn't open till 8 o'clock. There's a tyre repair place and there's one round the road that apparently opens at 7 um, kilometre away so I might run around there because it's easier if they do it rather than me. Give it a crack. Happy days. We've stopped for breakfast in Surat. It's wet, it's cold. I'm wet, cold. You, have, you having fun yet, boys? Oh yeah, this is my happy face. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting a lot of enjoyment out of Phil's it. pain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you laugh at it while you can. We'll come back to all you. <laughs> <laughs> Great time. We've had a shitload of rain here. There's been quite a few nasty floodway crossings. Well, good morning. Uh, beginning in day three, we were hoping for a fine day today, but unfortunately it's not to be the case. But hey, that's motorcycle riding, as we always say. My uh, wet weathers have ceased to function. All the uh, waterproofing inside them, only a year and a half old. Nelson Rig is the brand to avoid, um, has come out. So I'm going to get a very wet boy today. But so yeah, I'm still on the bike. So let's see how we go. Cheers. What's wrong, Phil? Uh, <laughs> don't resuscitate the, don't resuscitate the prick. He's not worth it. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. In the town of Worland, the town of Worland, about 20k north of Kingaroy just stopped because we're freezing cold decided we need a coffee and breakfast find this lovely lady in this nice little cafe here there's filthy phil precious prick he is what's wrong you're ultra precious precious and ultra fucking precious 
Eh? Does it look like me going to die? Yes, you do. Oh, no, no, I've got your jacket. Well, <laughs> oh, yes, you do. <laughs> Soft cock he is. So we've pulled up at uh, Esk for our last stop. Uh, Precious and I are the only ones left. Filthy Phil peeled off back towards Kilcoy. Uh, what do you reckon, Precious? You reckon Ultra Precious will ever ride with us again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he reckons he will. Uh, He's had a hard ride, the poor bastard. Yeah, yeah. On his Fuel. diner, shit suspension, <laughs> no windscreen. Uh, <laughs> Lucky Phil. Huh? Lucky <laughs> Phil. Anyway, a ride's a ride. At least yep. we got him out. Three day ride, he did well. It's pissed down rain, it's been freezing cold, we're soaking wet. But hey, that's about motorcycle riding. Great time. Great, Great time. Great time. <laughs> so I'm coming over the top of Wivenhoe Dam, the wall. I'm about 60 kilometres from home and wowee, no friggin' rain. With all the rain we've had, unfortunately, it doesn't look like the dam catchment's got anything. The dam looks further down. Riding through Brisbane and it's like a ghost town with barely a few cars on the road. Brisbane's now in a full day, three day lockdown where you can't leave the house at all. Apparently a hotel quarantine cleaner with the new UK COVID strain has wandered around, unbeknowings, didn't have any symptoms. The government as usual has crapped itself and don't give two shits about the economic impact on people and shut the Brisbane area, three million people, down for three full days. Having said all that, please remember people, life can be ever so short, therefore as I always say, live life today.